<laughs> are we live yet? I think we are. Yeah. Good. Good. There's always a few seconds to lie, isn't there, between the two? Yeah. Yes, we are. <clears throat> Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, welcome everyone joining us on Zoom and uh, Facebook as well. So welcome to the next episode of Let's Talk FM, Six of Success. So today with me, I've got a very special guest that perhaps all of you know. So Roy Strong. And so welcome, guys. Good afternoon, everybody. It's fantastic Thank to be you. here. Thank you very much for joining. <laughs> So I know that uh, you are very well known uh, across the world uh, in FM, but I'm going to just introduce you briefly before you uh, say about yourself. Uh, so basically, I know that 2016, um, Yulita and Roy uh, told us uh, that the future of network marketing is purely online and uh, that they will be focusing, uh, you know, uh, on social media to grow a fan business. So Yulita and Roy um, have a huge dynamic FM team, not only in the UK, Poland, but actually around the world. They were first in FM world to achieve Malachi style and went on to be the first at Pride Star. So that's a tremendous success. And in 2021, the first FM leaders to enter the Network Marketing Pro and Dollar Hall of Fame. So today, uh, my special guests uh, will talk about their experience in network marketing. We'll discuss different tactics that they use, uh, and resilient. So welcome, welcome guys on Let's Talk FM. So can you just, you know, talk briefly about yourself? Just can you tell us a few more about yourself? Where did you join FM? How did you come across FM, uh, etc.? So maybe you start because I, I think Roy has been with FM for a slightly longer than you, Rita, right? That's yeah. I, I joined seventeen years ago. It's, it's, it's that time has gone very very quickly. Um, so I actually was I've been involved in network marketing before. I, I used to actually write um, reviews of ne network marketing marketing plans in business magazines. Um, so I, uh, when I you know when I saw a good plan, I knew it. <laughs> and I, I just got a ra random email come through out of the blue um, and sa saying about FM coming to the UK and would I be interested in knowing more about it? I said yes. <laughs> how about you, Elita? When did you join FM and how did you come across FM? I we'll can't come, hear you. Come We've here got here a problem with time. your speaker. We can't hear you, Mark, Lisa. No. Yeah, we can't hear you at the moment. Uh, Sound no, we sound can't hear you. <laughs> no. <laughs> when, so when, you, when, you're build, when you're building online, you're, you're always going to get a few technical issues at times. So <laughs> we're quite used Julita, to that. If you can click uh, the arrow next to the microphone in the bottom left corner and then check. Which microphone ha have you got ticked? Is it the system microphone or your external microphone? Can you hear me, guys? Yes, I'm yes. I'm changing them. <laughs> you're back. Uh, you're back. You're you're back. Do you know, it, and I haven't done anything before. So did you hear me before when I was saying good afternoon? 
We heard you at the very start, but then we, yes. we didn't hear you. I didn't touch anything. I'm not touching. I'm not into <laughs> IT. I don't want to. It's the wonders of technology. Okay. Yeah. Guys, Perfect. So, no yeah, after, after small technical difficulties, we can finally hear you. <laughs> so, basically, my question was <laughs> how did you uh, come across FM and when did you join? And so, guys, it's nearly 10 years. Uh, of me um, working, collaborating with the, the amazing company, <laughs> FM World. And um, what can I say about my say, uh, myself? A bit crazy, uh, but I think everyone knows that. Uh, <laughs> they uh, do. First yeah. all, I, yes. First of all, I always say I am a mom of two kids and they are extremely challenging at times. Uh, I am also the investor. I am network marketing pro. I love what I do um, and I enjoy every moment. Okay. And so, Yurita, why did you, obviously, you turn different over in marketing. So, did you choose network marketing? What convinced what? you to go into network marketing, um, especially? It's with me, it was always freedom being my own boss. I always say that I won't change the opinion. I had amazing people I work with in the past, but I knew I want to be my be the boss for myself. So I didn't want to be the one who is someone telling what to do. I wanted to tell myself what do I have to do. And this is that that's what happened. That that's why the freedom in network marketing got I got so tempted that I couldn't say no. I having said that it took me 2 years, 2 years actually to convince myself and make that clear decision that I really want to go for it. So it wasn't from the first um, introduction to the business. Uh, it was the second attempt, successful. And there we go. I'm here with the company for nearly 10 years. Okay. How about you, Roy? I've, I've been involved in the insurance industry before, which is, you know, <laughs> it, it wasn't the most exciting. <laughs> Uh, and uh, you know, network marketing very much does give anybody the chance to obviously you know earn money for themselves. But it also it's a challenge. Every every single day is different, and I love that. You know, it's it's challenging at times, um, but it's also it's also fun as well. Yeah. So you know, based on Yulita's example, uh, it doesn't need to happen right away, right? Sometimes when you approach new potential team members or customers you may face a rejection or hesitation, and then it may happen later on. So I think it's something about being persistent and consistent that works uh, in network marketing, right? It certainly is. And we actually had a team member join a few months ago, and they'd, the first time they heard about FM was actually 19 years before that. <laughs> wow, okay. this is like... Even before I'd heard about yes. FM, you know. 19 years. 19 years. <laughs> so that was perhaps the longest wait ever. <laughs> uh, so, you know, before we move on, uh, I'm quite curious, what do you love most about FM? Because there was perhaps somebody who introduced you to FM, uh, used certain tactics and uh, maybe certain incentives or motivational programs, or maybe that was the product. So what was that that you really loved about uh, FM? Or what do you love about FM right now? Well, when I when I was approached at first, we just did perfumes. So, and I knew I've been involved, I said, in the industry before, and I knew the easiest product to sell is perfumes. So the fact it was a perfume company very much attracted me to it. When I saw a marketing plan, I thought absolutely brilliant. But I would say now that what makes us different from you know all the other the companies out there, it, it's the atmosphere of the company. It's, you know, we've just come back from Turkey. We had an absolutely wonderful trip out to Turkey. And I know you were there as well, weren't you, Martin? As, uh, <laughs> and, you know, it's people from all, all different countries, all different teams, all, you know, all partying together. And I've been involved, you know, involved in enough companies in the past and been along to those sort of events, you know. But it, it didn't have the same atmosphere as FM has. It, it's, that, it's that community, everybody working together and having fun, enjoying it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Lita? Have you got a similar experience? You know, but with me, it was saving. It was okay. huge saving. So when I saw the prices and how much I could save with the products um, from FM range, I was like, hmm, okay, this is, this is, this can go big. I didn't really have experience in network marketing. So for me, it was like, okay, 
the funny thing, the, the, the funniest bit is that I purchased quite a bit of fragrances because I thought everyone is going to be as crazy as me about those products. But it, the first month I was on minus. So I didn't make really money and I had to send some products back. So I was like, hmm, why people don't really want to buy these products as much? And, or maybe I wasn't good enough just yet. Or it was maybe to do with something I can sell as much to be able to make as much money as I needed. So I thought, okay, I really need to look into network marketing and figure it out. So then I went straight into team building. And I said to Roy, like, look, we need to have a good business presentation. We need to get everybody on board. We need to share this opportunity with everyone who wants to really save money on these amazing products. So with me, it was really the business opportunity that I fell in love with because obviously I didn't know people. I didn't have the experience, so I couldn't compare these things. But then when I joined and when I went Uh, on first trip and then second trip and then third and people were like so kind and so loving and um, I know you had a life with Sharon and she was like looking after me and she was so kind and so good to me and I was like oh my god I like it there I stay here (laughs) so there we go (laughs) 10 years nearly 10 years later I'm still with the company I enjoy as I said before and I I fall in love with these discounts and I promote these discounts on pretty much daily basis. Mm-hmm. And, you know, obviously everyone who joins FM uh, should take advantage of our incentive programs. And in my opinion, uh, everyone who is building the team, they should really choose, uh, you know, a couple of, at least a couple of incentive programs to promote uh, uh, among the new team members. So. I know that you do use incentive programs as a part of your tactics or a strategy. So can you tell us which incentive programs do you particularly like and promote uh, and why? I think the most most important, the the first one is exactly what I just said before, is to do with saving. Um, Mm -hmm. And I think when someone realizes how much money they can save at the beginning, so it's like, One, you don't have to pay to sign up to actually take advantage of it. And then you don't only just have um, the discounts that only apply to you around 30%. You've got extra additional discounts on um, products. So I think this this is one of the best tools, one of the best incentives for anyone who kicks off, who anyone for anyone who wants to save money, try these products, save money, and then go from there into making more money. Like this is how I see it because I really took benefit of extra offers at the beginning, I remember. So I think anyone who really thinks, hey, I can save money, I can make money, but first I need to try the product. So the company is giving us this opportunity to get these products at superb discounted prices. So I'm like, why not? If anyone is joining and not taking advantage of that, it's like, you know what I, you know, Martin, what I mean? I'm like, are they silly billies or what? You know, why would they not take advantage of something that is there prepared for them? Yeah. And, and yeah. that's the smart start, isn't it, during the first 10 days. And it, yeah, as you, it, exactly as you later said, it encourages people to order early, to experience the products for themselves, and also to experience the sort of speed of the delivery and everything else. So it, it's that excitement, isn't it? When you, you, you know, you order something, something, you get it through and you, you then, um, you know, open it and, and, and you're trying, the, you know, maybe some products you haven't tried before. Um, you're trying those and you're experiencing how great it is. So then you can share that with other people too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then, Martin, we also have an amazing, um, amazing incentive um, where you can make extra cash. And I think this is something for really who wants to kick off, get the extra cash, get a few team members on board, share the product around. And that's the best start for anyone because really we have prepared good few years ago, we have prepared um, a really good presentation on how to make first thousand pounds in your Mm -hmm. second month within the company Mm -hmm. and then 2000 pounds in your third month within the company by using this incentive. So uh, it's again, first one, it's saving money. The second one is straight into the income and anyone can actually do it. I did it, I did it as well. So (laughs) when we had this, um, 
when we had this incentive introduced, <clears throat> I was like, hey, we, we just got to crack on with this because there is a lot of money. We have additional numbers. Um, so we could, we could apply these incentives into more than one uh, account. Yes. So it was very beneficial and it can, it can, it can be a life changing income from just the beginning from the first and second month whereas with now i know i've got a little bit more experience with a lot of different companies you really need to build that to make that first thousand pounds and second uh, in your second month and then third month two thousand pounds i'm not saying it's not possible don't get me wrong but i think this incentive within um the, what we've got it's unbelievable it's unbelievable and um we have seen across the, the team that a lot of a lot of our business partners take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's often once, once, once someone's done it themselves, then the people they're introducing to see they've done it and therefore then they're going to, you know, they will hopefully follow the same example as well. It's the yeah, fast yeah. part is absolutely brilliant. So, right, it's you saying uh, about duplication, aren't you? Exactly, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So no, no, that's the that's the duplication. So, like so duplicate. basically, you you have some kind of system that can be duplicable by your uh, new team members, right? Martin, and I Martin, yes, I always say I don't actually like the word system as much. It's it's not a bad word, but I always say is action. Mm -hmm. If there is anything better than any system is taking action. And with this incentive, taking action is easier because yeah. it encourage you to do it. You, It's not like I ask someone, hey, you need to spend a lot of money, like a few thousand pounds to get some products that you're never going to use. You're just going to dump them and you will never benefit from. No, I'm, I'm saying, hey, you can make money on products that you use every day. So that's the big difference to me because I really believe in the products because like we use those products. Yes. Yeah? So it's, as mm -hmm. I said, once again, it's not like, I ask someone to purchase something that they will never use in their life. So okay. they have to recommend something that they don't actually need and like. And yep. yeah, they don't need that and they don't like it. So mm -hmm. with these products, it's easier. So in my opinion, instead of anyone can have the best system in the world, but till you actually take action. So till you recommend these products, till you use this product, recommend this product and talk about this product. So recommend these products, nothing can happen. But yes, we focus on action because and anyone within our team, we've got an absolutely amazing business partners, crazy uh, leaders, <laughs> but they take crazy actions to have results. So mm -hmm. is the conversation, the communication skills crucial here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So coming, going back to the incentive programs. Um, so Roy, how do people make the claim? Do you explain the team members uh, how it, to do it's so, it? It's so, so it's, it's automatic actually. Mm -hmm. it, when, when someone <laughs> when someone joins and they're taking advantage of smart start offers at their first ten days, all they need to do is go to the online shop, they add the items to their basket, and the discounts applied automatically. So when they're paying That's the price, they're actually paying the lower price. Simple, just it, very very easy. Um, and with far with the fast starts, um, once they do the fast start qualif you know qualifications on that then the actual it ends up um, the, the the month after they've done the the, the fast start achievement, um, they then get the around the 10th of the following month automatically, then in the, the back office, they get they're getting that, that extra bonus. So it's, you know, it's, there's nothing, there's no email to write in to claim it and all that rubbish. It's, it's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. and, and I, Martin, Martin, yes? this is a good one. You don't have to be good at maths. We always says that, do we? Because you actually, the company does all the work for you. Yeah, all calculations are done for you by the company. It's actually Automatically. The calculation is yeah. in back office. We both love maths, but you don't have to be good we at maths. We just need the to know how to work. log in, yeah? <laughs> Okay, so guys, we know the best incentive programs that you basically use yourself and you get great results uh, with that. Um, they are really effective and speed up the, the whole process, especially at the beginning when you sign up uh, new team members, when you in, uh, invite new people to join your team. So um, are there any tips that you could share uh, with others um, that you use in order to master the follow-up process? Because obviously you cannot just ask people, you know, introduce to them the incentive programs. I think it's quite important, especially at the very beginning, to follow up. Have you got any tips? I, I think um, you need a combination of methods. You need automatic automatic methods, so everybody's getting the the sort of you know initial information they need. 
Um, that we do that through emails and we've also got sort of support groups as well for that. Um, but as well as that, then you also communicate with them personally and a lot of that's done through Messenger and WhatsApp and things like that. Okay, Yulita, have you, have you got anything else that you use no, personally you know, to follow up? No, what's in my head? Um, <clears throat> it's one more incentive that I have to mention it. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> you know, like, I, I won't let you go. I won't let you go without uh, mentioning this incentive. It's the car program that we have within the company. So our leaders have an amazing opportunity to sign the leasing with um, uh, car companies to, to then claim the money from the company. And as long as they reach the level that required for, um, for each payment, they can drive a brand new car. And I remember when I had my first car, it was amazing. Like it was really great achievement. And I know that, <clears throat> and I know a lot of business partners when they collect their own cars and we have seen many, like we went into many, um, many of these events and we have seen other team members collecting, other business partners collecting their cars. It was mind blowing, the emotion. It, it, when you uh, see all the cars the lined happiness. up, you think, you know, yes. so, so many of members of our team we, you know, with, with their cars, it's fantastic. Yeah. And I think this is something when, uh, what Roy mentioned it at the beginning, the vibe that you get from it, mm. yes? Because yes, we are in this industry and I love the industry. Network marketing is an amazing industry. It has changed my life and it has changed a lot of people's lives. But I don't just say it just to say it because it, it's like, I mean it. And also I um, see and I watch other people uh, experience and, and lifestyle, how it can change because of these uh, extra incentives, these extra programs and the income that we have in network marketing. So the car program, it's one of my favorite. And you all, you you can have more than one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I actually have three at the moment. It's oh, and I'm wow. not saying just to say it, but because I live in between Poland and England, so I need more than one car. But um, but that's 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 amazing thing. Uh, and I think a lot of people, one of the the goals for a lot of business partners is is to have a brand new car, and that's what the company has uh, to offer. So I think. That's why I couldn't let you go, Martin. You know, I needed to mention it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the... really worth mentioning. Uh, I think that's a that's a great incentive program. Um, uh, you know, you build your team in many different countries. So basically, you, potentially, you may have a car in each of the countries that you're building yes. the team. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Funny enough, what you just said, we're like, it's three of us and we are in, two, in three different countries right now. Yeah. Are we guys? Yeah. So yeah. it's like when someone says, hey, you can be like, you can build this business on social media. And this is just a proof. Like what you said at the beginning, Martin, you know, it's like once you realize what you've got in your hands, then then it's, it's just then you have different view on, on everything, really, isn't it? It's like, I know there are so many people that feel like, oh, yes, but it still might not work. But like, yes, it does work. You know, mm -hmm. it does work. So when people say and advertise on social media, it can work from anywhere, anywhere as long as I have Wi-Fi. So that's exactly what it is. As long as we have good Wi-Fi and no <laughs> many IT issues, then we can really perform okay, guys. Yeah? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. With so now, uh, now we, we, we touch the base uh, in terms of the tactics that you have, the, the incentive programs. So the next step that I would like to discuss briefly is, is motivation and resilience. You know, when we start doing something, we feel powered up, right? We feel yeah. motivated. But as we continue, our motivation tends to go down. Is there anything, any, anything that you use in order to motivate yourself and your team members and also empower yourself or team members? What do you think about motivation? Because sometimes we just, we, we think that, you know, things like, you know, having a car, uh, getting the products at cheaper price, earning some money, that's quite motivational. But um, there is something which is called an inner motivation too. So which one do you think uh, you, you should mostly focus on it motivation does come from within without a doubt um so the only person that can motivate you is you 
uh, but but what we do is we definitely you know we 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 got so many as you later mentioned earlier we've got so many wonderful leaders within our team, and it's it's looking at the skills that people have got, and in, empowering them by you know ma- making use of this you know pe- people are, are brilliant at diff- at loads of different things, and it's it's you know it's shown how good they are at something which then helps the upper team members to improve at that particular thing. As you said, Martin, with motivation, it's like when someone joined the business and they like really excited, the motivation is like goes high up, you know, like, phew, like a rocket, a rocket, you know, and then it just goes down, like, and, and then you don't hear from the business partner and they're like, oh, I don't know, I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe this is not for me. It's like this industry is for people who really who who are aware of what this industry actually is you know like yes in this industry you do have to build the network and it's like i don't say to i never say to anyone you know this is not what you got to do because that is the main skill that is the main thing that you need to do you have to build a network and you have to recommend the products so i believe personally that the motivation really comes from inside of you and with, 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 for me, it was like, I wanted to have a different lifestyle. I didn't want to work for somebody else. I had my two little kids and I really want to spend more time with them. I wanted to be able to afford holidays. So there was so many whys. Like if you, you know, that the list was so, I've got this list till now. The list was so <laughs> long that I, I could not afford not to be motivated. Like I, I had no time to waste to, to be not motivated. It might sound crazy for many, but if you don't figure it out for yourself, it, there is no way that someone else can figure it out for you. There is no way, even we've got the best leaders performing and doing amazing trainings for everyone else, that can motivate you for a day, two, three, five. But then what, what next? Like you, you can't expect or you can't wait for your leader to wait to, to, to wait for the phone call in the morning and say, hey, I'm calling you, like, I really want you to be motivated today. It's not going to work. It, it doesn't mm. work like that. So till you really figure it out what this industry is about, till you really find out why you are actually doing it, you will have obstacles. Everyone has obstacles. It's a business like any other business, okay? So things can happen. Things can go wrong. Things can go... Uh, unbelievable crazy amazing and that's just business like any other business so if you decide to be a hairdresser let's say yes uh, I love my hairdresser (laughs) (laughs) and then you decide and and then you think like oh you know like in the morning you think oh I, I, I'm just gonna cancel all my clients because I don't want to really bother myself today I'm not motivated like can you do that no you can't So if you've got any other business or you've got any other profession, can you actually afford not to be motivated? Can you actually call your boss every morning in the morning, every every morning, every morning, every day and say, I'm not really motivated. I'm not going to come to work today. It's just let's be serious, guys. It doesn't work like that, does it? Yeah, and also considering that you've got, uh, you know, thousands of people in your team, it's not really possible to motivate everyone, right? So everyone, as you're saying, needs to find their own why and just remember that every single day uh, when they face obstacles. Of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. And everyone will have uh, some, some, you know, some obstacles on the way. We all have it on daily basis. Yeah, guys. whatever yes. level we're Personal at, no, life, business life, yeah. business, personal life with kids. I mean, that, that's just, that's, that, that's, that's how it is really, isn't it? But as yeah. long as you know what you're aiming for, what you want, um, and you figure it out for yourself and you, you know, like once you've got this puzzles and then you like trying to solve, so, sort it all out for yourself to see that picture, you've got the vision, but you just need to put these puzzles mm. into one picture. Um, that, that's action. You know, once you've got the vision, then you need to take action to be able to then put all these things together. But, you know, I always say instead of focusing on if I'm motivated or not, I just take action. Like mm-hmm. I just do the, do things, yeah. you know, like I don't, I don't actually have enough time in, to, in, in a day to think if I am motivated, I'm not. Probably Marcy, most of the time I'm not motivated, but I just do it. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like if you ask me, I, what's, what's your level of motivation? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I just go and do it. It's like, it's like, um, I am a mom, so I, I I say a lot to other moms. I'm like, do you think like, do you gonna feed your child or not? You just do it. Do you have to be motivated to feed your family, like to prepare the meal or actually go for shopping or something? Do you think about it? No, you just go and do it. Do you? Like, do you think about doing it to have a bath in the in the morning or in the evening? No, you just go and do it. So with work and with with aiming to achieve anything in the life, you have to have similar view on things. Yes. Yeah. And also, I think that, um, you know, it's about creating new habits as well, yes. right? Yeah. So once you create a new habit, uh, it may take a little while, but then basically you do it sort of automatically, uh, certain activities, uh, what, whatever you need to do, you do it. Um, and draw it. become part of your daily routine then. Exactly. Um, so, okay, the inner motivation is uh, slightly more important. Uh, so finding your why. But what do you think, Roy? Uh, have you personally have a mentor or a successful leader to look up to? Well, I think it, we've. You or know, maybe there's a lot, there's a lot of people initially we you had it. Yeah, there's a lot of people we learn from. Yeah. Um, but I think the key to it is there's always remembering when you're when you're learning learning from a mentor or different people, is that they're going to be specialists in particular areas and not to rely on them for everything. So that way. You know, there's going to be some people, you know, some mentors are particularly good on social media. Other ones are particularly good on duplication. Other ones are particularly good on sales skills. Though, all, you know, there's, there's going to be, and some on motivation as well. And there's got, you know, everybody's got their own specialist area and it's sort of pulling resources from everywhere in order to get to, you know, to get the skills that you need. Mm -hmm. That's right, yes. Okay, guys. Uh, so I just want to say one more thing. Uh, so everyone who is watching us on uh, Zoom and Facebook, if you have any questions that you would like to ask Yurita and Roy, you can just uh, post the questions in the comment section. And now I'll move to the next thing because FM, it's all about products as well. So I'm sure that you, you use uh, a lot of them. But my question is, uh, maybe I'll start from Roy. Uh, Roy, which are your favorite FM products? My number moment? one, well, I'm always definitely, <laughs> I've got it right here. My number one is definitely um, 813 fragrance. Absolutely amazing. Get incredible compliments whenever I'm wearing that one. Um, I do try and vary wearing different ones at different days sometimes, but this is, this is the one I've actually found that you get the, the most compliments from. So 813. Um, I also do love the men's uh, Fontana V skincare range. It's very, very easy to use. And you, you, you're traveling around as well. It's very easy to carry. It doesn't leak out or anything, you know, very simple. And it's designed, it's designed specifically for male skin. So therefore, it's, it, you, get the, you get the best results from it too. So yeah, the, the fragrance actually from the Fontana V, the actual mm -hmm. scents uh, from the different uh, skincare products, it, it's very, they're very lightly scented. So it's a male scent, but it doesn't overpower the actual fragrance you're wearing. So you you still you still get the impact of the, the fragrance you're wearing as well. Perfect. How about you, Lita? Oh, I did. Can you no, share with like... us your at least two, at least two, because but, I'm sure you've got more than that. This is, uh, this is the hardest task, actually. You're saying like two products out <laughs> of like nearly 2,000? Like, how can you be yeah. so cruel? Do you know... With me, it's like all about number 18 for nearly 10 years. So that's that's you've that's got it with you. This bottle has changed my life. So I I, I can't cheat on number 18. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to do with number 18, guys. Um, I love other fragrances as well, but number 18 is the number one. And I love the Alaya products, old range. So Martin, I tried my best, but I cannot just go for two products. I can go for this two, <laughs> you know, everything around 18 and anything to do with Alaya. Can, can, can still like this? Did I pass? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take a look uh, just from my head just to see the phone and the comments. Um, question, actually, why did you, Lita and Roy, join forces in FM? 
Well, I went up, uh, you know, when I, I came into the business before you, Lisa, and the it, when I first joined network marketing in, in general, um, there was more men in network marketing than there was women. But that's, that's changed dramatically over the years. And by far now, there's more women in network marketing than there are men. And, uh, you know, any men in the business, I, I would very much say, you know, you, you, ne you need to have a woman to work with within, within the business. It makes a big difference, particularly on social media. Um, and I was very lucky that, you know, for a mutual friend, uh, uh, got, to, got to know Yulita. And Yulita came into the business with such energy. And she, you know, she, she knew that the social media was the way forward. And she came up with so many ideas of the way to transform the business. And, you know, from when she joined, the business just went like this. You know, it, it, it was absolutely amazing all these things she came up with. And we get on so well as well, and it it it, it just naturally happened. Really, we became, you know. Hey, right, it was like Martin. a dream come true, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny because I am from Poland, and Roy was like, "I always wanted to have the business partners from Poland." I'm like, "There we go," you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't always struggle, you know, with Polish company, and I, you know, built in the UK and obviously in a lot of countries around the world. The the one country where I found it actually difficult to actually find. Um, you know, very good people to join the team was actually in Poland. Um, so <laughs> when, as soon as I knew it was Polish, it was like, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> this is it. This is like and the energy you can tell today on, on this the it, it, absolutely incredible energy that you, you has brought to the business is fantastic. So, you know. But then the same with me now, my dream to come true is to have a lot more Polish leaders in UK and in Poland because I see there is so much potential out there and there is so many, uh, so many um, girls, women, men who really would love to change things in their life, but they like thinking, watching, can make the decision just yet. So for me, again, dream come true it will be to build even bigger teams and, and have not just Polish, but all other nationalities Everywhere. as well. <laughs> but then my dream come true, it would be to work with other, uh, obviously, um, uh, Polish leaders as well, yes. Okay. And to, we've, we've got a question from Tony. How do we introduce people to product names that people aren't familiar with, such as NutriCode? What would you guys say about that? I would say very much make use of the offers we have lo loads and loads of offers so there's, al there's always something to offer to customers but try the products yourself that's the key to it you know with mm -hmm. with the neutral code or with any of the products try the products yourself be your own best testimonial for the products yeah. so that way you like when i was talking about the you know the fontana v skincare or elita was talking about the layer makeup it, th then that way you're you're actually then you, you know you can talk with enthusiasm about the product because you're actually using it yourself so you know we've got thousands of products within the, in their ranges but i would say very much focus on the ones that you're personally using because then you're going to be able to talk with confidence about those um and be able to in, you know find more customers for them martin because the key thing in uh, mlm is the recommendations so i always says how can you recommend something that you don't know yeah so really until you try the product you use the product and it became the product that you know you can then highly recommend and you can talk about um hundreds and thousand people uh, mm -hmm. about that product and the results that you have yes it's yeah. with me it was always the most easy with fragrances i say hey if you want to save a lot of money that's that's that's, uh, that's it you can sign up for free and have a crazy saving and then crazy and amazing savings and um, and you can enjoy the product you can recommend. But to tell you, it's like that is the industry. Industry is based on recommendation. So mm -hmm. if you don't recommend and if you don't try, how can you offer these products? It's like at the beginning when people say, do I have to spend any money on products? I'm like, no, we, you can sign up for free and you don't have to spend £100,000 on um, a crazy amount of products. But try these products that maybe you 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 know you're running out of um you you need some more for your you know makeup makeup bag and any fragrances that you love you can even buy tiny samples i'm not saying buy the bottles tiny samples so at least you try these products so you can actually recommend i can't imagine recommending a, a meal that i never tried so that this business this industry is based on recommendation 
Yeah, I can't stress yeah. this more in, enough. I can't stress this enough. That that's if someone wants to save money and make money, they need to use these products. Mm -hmm. That's the industry. Yeah, that also builds up your credibility and of you are course. trustworthy, right? Of course. Yeah. So what what does what does it take to be successful in FM business? Just briefly. You need to, as we've said already, you need to actions every single day with it. You know, you, you, I don't even see the post behind me there, but you, you don't quit. You, you keep going, you, you hit those obstacles, but you keep going with it. And you need to have, you know, this is, this is a, you know, a, one of our secrets to success for both of us is you need to have that positive attitude. Yes. You need to be able to face things. And, okay, that, that happens. And but then you're looking at things in a positive way. Yeah. And, and, and pass that positivity on to, you know, to your team members, to your customers as well, potential team members. To, to, to every you know everyone because that that positivity will then flow through your business yeah yeah and obviously you know when we start doing something new uh, everyone tends to make some mistakes right uh, of course. so uh, what advice would you give to your younger self when you first started i, I would say i'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll try and find you later earlier <laughs> so, we're, we're earlier you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness how about you Lita? <laughs> oh do you know what like um i would um yeah probably the two years that was a silly me of waiting that's the number one and number two i think taking even more action just really talking to people recommending these products having this conversation building network building network quicker and yeah yeah that's that's the crucial okay so now guys uh take away <laughs> the last question may be quite tricky how would you describe your fm journey in one word amazing <laughs> <laughs> it's a word we've used a lot during during this interview so i'll, I'll say that very much sums it up you know absolutely um you know amazing experience so far and we know there's an awful lot more brilliance to come as well how about you? <laughs> I think I would say, uh, oh my goodness, I would say uh, unbelievable roller coaster, amazing in any way you can think of. But it has been a roller coaster. I love it every bit. I've learned so much. Had um, had to get out of my comfort zone so many times. Like I never ever thought I would have to in my life. So an amazing, an amazing, exciting ro a roller coaster that has been so far. And now I'm, I'm ready for more. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So guys, thank you so much uh, for joining the, the video podcast. Um, it's being recorded, so it's going to stay on Facebook. Uh, we're going to upload that to our YouTube channel as well. Um, we didn't have time to answer all of the questions, but I think you'll have a chance to go to FM World UK Facebook page. And if there are any questions to you, I think you have the chance to answer the questions by typing them. So I wish you all the best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank so reach for the stars. I, I wish you, you the highest levels, achieving the highest levels possible. And uh, yeah, have a, have a good afternoon. Thank you so much. Okay, Thanks. everybody. Thanks Thanks so much, Roy. Thank you so much, Roy. Bye-bye. It was my pleasure. Bye.